I'm so excited because this is my first vlog tutorial. So please hit the subscribe button below, get notified, and please do comment. And comment down below. because this is my first vlog tutorial so please hit the subscribe button get notified and comment down below I'll be discussing you today the backup that I'm using in my online teaching to avoid page locked and penalties because this is the most common problem that we have encountered but first you must meet the minimum requirements as shown below So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, I'll show you my workstation. So this is it. Actually, it's simple compared to other online teachers. But... You can see here that I have two monitors right so desktop ang ginagamit ko and I'm using my laptop as my backup then may makikita pa kayo extra keyboard just in case na you know may mga situations na hindi natin makontrol so at least I have backup and another monitor for my backup also okay at ito yung mga rewards ko for my students Okay, so actually marami pa akong reward siya kasi wala nang space. Okay, so may pizza, may cake. Si Elsa! Tapos yung mga mermaids. And I'm using two headsets. So different headset for my laptop. Okay, so you see the brand in there. So it should be noise cancelling headset. And of course, for my desktop computer, I'm using also another headset. So this is also a Jabra noise cancelling headset. I'm showing you right now the purpose of connecting the modem to the UPS. And it is plugged to the power outlet. And uh, of course, we have an electricity right now. So for example, there is a sudden power outage. So I, was, I will unplug this one. And you can see here that the light turns red and it blinks and you can hear a sound. So it means that our power source is the UPS but look at this guys so we have still our internet using this UPS it will last for two hours but if this connected to the car battery it will last for four to eight hours
because you can see here guys that I have two battery backups and it is attached to the UPS purpose kasi ng UPS pag nag sudden outage sige pa rin yung internet connection nyo smooth lang no need lang lang yung plug in ko pa so walang problem patuloy yung connection Later, we will show you how to set up a power backup using the UPS and the car battery. And for my internet service provider, I'm using both PLDT fiber and a Globe fiber. But my main line is Globe, so I just use the PLDT as my backup. Wi-Fi is not allowed, so we're required to use wired connection. Oh no! Okay, so first is you have to open your UPS. Okay, ito yung original na setup ng UPS na... <clears throat> May battery pa siya. So, dati, ito yung battery. Nakakonect yan dito sa positive, ito sa negative. So, what we did is, we removed the battery na 12 volts. Pagkatapos, in-extend namin ng cable. Yung red, in-extend namin. Kasi wala na kaming mabilihan ng mga red at saka black na kulay, yellow at saka blue na lang. So, what we did is, yung red nilagay sa blue. Yung black nilagay ko sa yellow inextend lang talaga yung battery Which is dito yung nakakonect dati Tinanggal namin yung battery ng UPS So pagtanggal mo ng battery ng UPS Extend mo yung cable Pagtapos ito na yung cable Pagtapos bumili ka ng alligator clip Ito yung alligator clip Basta tandaan nyo lang yung polarity Yung red, red, red na alligator clip Yung sa black na origin, ito yung black na origin, yellow, which is yellow, nakakonect. Anong size ng wire? Size ng wire, as long as makapal yung wire, dapat makapal talaga. Pumunta kayo sa, ano, sa auto supply ng mga cable, makapal ito yung cable niya. Yung pinakamalaki. Mas, much better kung malaki. Kasi mala, mataas yung current. So, yung black, lagay ko sa, sa negative ng battery ito. Ito yung negative. Ito yung positive. Oh. Simple. Okay, yon guys. yon lang yung Tingnan kasimple. Yung power. Okay, malalaman mo na it works kasi pag... Ito na yun. Nagre-red okay, na siya. Okay, if you turn on the power button, so automatically... Walang it... power yan dito. So, no Turns need. into red. So, so scared. So, Andito kami ka ngayon sa labas. So, wala. Hindi siya connected sa electricity. Yung... Power source natin is from the battery lang. So, ganyan na lang kasimple. Pero pagkatapos, lagyan nyo naman butas. Ito sa akin, no, nilagyan ko dito ng butas para makapasok yung cable. Lagay sa loob. Yung wire dito. Palabasin dito. Tingnan mo. Ano na yan. Hindi na magano. Yan. So, close na yun. UPS at saka screw. Yun lang. Simple. Okay, Hirap. so Hirap. yun lang kasimple guys. Kaya ito yung ginamit kong backup. Kasi ito yung pinakasimple at... If there is a sudden outage, smooth lang talaga. There's no need to plug in. Kasi nga, connected ka na sa UPS. Okay, so ito na na guys yung finished. So, nakita nyo na nakaklip, nakaklip na. Sa Attach negative. mo na lang yung... Yung black sa negative. Yung black sa negative. 
Red sa positive. At saka red sa positive. So, make it sure na tama, ha? Para walang uh, short circuit. Turn on. Okay. So, papakita ko sa inyo na I will turn on the power button. See? Oh. Green siya kasi full charge. Kaki green siya kasi naka full charge. Kanina, Kanina is, is, is uh, <laughs> red. Kasi uh, hindi ko na ginagamit yan. Uh, yung maliit na battery just for my laptop. Ito. Kasi desktop na yung ginamit ko. Kaya bumili rin ako ng malaking battery. Okay, so di ba simple at saka ito yung battery ng UPS. So ano na yan useless. Huwag mo nang gamitin yan. At so, saka 850 VA yung gamitin niyo, less than 1000 lang. Kasi 12 volts pag nag above 1500 kayo is 24 volts. Okay, sa ganito dapat kasi nakahiga kanina. At saka yung wire. Volts, battery na car battery, okay na yun. Pero kung mas malaki, tingnan nyo naman yung difference which is, o, oh, tingnan nyo. Siyempre maliit lang to. Siyempre ito malaki. Oh, so, long half. lasting. Half. Parang Almost three half times. yung size. Kaya nga yung maliit, ginagamit ko yan sa laptop lang. Kasi... Uh, it will last for 3 hours unlike yung malaki it will last for 8 hours so pang ano lang talaga pang back up lang na for laptop or desktop computer but at the same time pwede nyo rin gamitin yung light yung ilaw para while having your online job hindi madilin ah, nakita nyo guys so oh, hindi siya naka-plug. ba? Diba? So, ibig sabihin, yung power source natin is battery lang talaga. Okay, so, this is my backup. I've been using this for almost 2 uh, years already. So, wala akong kaproble-problema. Walang page lock up. At and walang battery, penalty. And this battery cost 8,500. Okay, so 8,500 daw yung ganitong battery. So, talagang mag invest tayo for our backup. Alright guys, so papakita ko sa inyo right now if how my power backup works. Okay, so as of now, gumagamit pa tayo ng kuryente. So, Makikita nyo dito na I'm connected to the internet, right? So, click natin. Alright. And then, I'm using here to light source. Tapos yung isa nandyan. Okay, dalawang ilaw yung gamit ko. And then, C globe is turn on yung modem naka turn on siya and you can see here also that it is connected to the power outlet okay so this time yung gagawin ko is okay for example automat uh, there's a sudden outage okay halimbawa kunin ko to okay so unplug natin okay ito yung sa ilaw ko So, yung isang ilaw, syempre, mamamatay kasi, kasi walang kuryente. At ito yung sa modem ko. Okay. So, tingnan natin ulit. Si, meron pa rin akong ilaw. So, still connected sa internet. Okay, let's open another file. Or, okay, hanap tayo ng ibang ano dito. Okay, see, very fast ang internet, walang kaproble-problema. But, you can hear a sound, right? Okay, para may nag-toot, toot. Okay, so ito na yung backup ko. Alright, so you can hear the sound of the UPS and it is attached to the battery. Okay, so make it sure lang 
na tama yung pagka-clip nyo ng positive at negative. So, this is how your power backup works. Alright. So, ano ba yung mga nakakabit sa UPS? Okay, na walang power interruption talaga. So, smooth lang, diba? Hindi ako nag-plug. Kasi nga, everything is plugged in on in the UPS. So, ito yung mga naka-attach, yung modem, the CPU, okay, yung desktop computer, andito lahat sa UPS at saka yung light ko. So, yun ka simple. Walang problema. Smooth pa rin yung connection. So, that's why ito yung pinaka for me ha. I recommend to use this power backup kasi smooth talaga. Napakabilis. So, if there's a sudden power interruption, so there's no need for you to stand up. And like if you're using the generator, where you have to plug and start, wait for a couple of minutes before you will get connected to the internet. Please subscribe, get notified, like, comment, and share.